Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait. Yeah, it is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Joining you here on this Monday evening as we celebrate Monday Night Raw. Hey, you've been doing it for nearly 25 years, over 25 years. I don't know, it depends on how old you are. I know we got some young bucks out there, but uh, this uh, is how we celebrate. We get together. We had a lot of people here in the studio tonight. Uh, we had some uh, a, a special uh, kind of community coffee going on, so it was cool to like like expose people that don't normally watch wrestling or haven't for a while as it's like, hey, who's that guy? Who's that hot guy on the TV? It was like, oh, that's CrossFit Jesus, Seth Rollins. <laughs> uh, it was literally how I explained it to a fellow business owner here in my neighborhood. Uh, but it's a lot of fun here. Uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, live on the Facebook. But with us also is, uh, he's not gone yet. He's still here. He still is the only one on the show with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. Yes, um, I, I will be going at some point. I promise you this. I just... <laughs> I have no idea when it is. So all of you have just been waiting for Mike to go yeah. away. Me. It's okay. Yeah. You're it's, like it's the uh, you're the undertaker of this show. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, if anything, I'm the John Cena of this show because everyone's waiting for me to permanently go away. Yeah, but pe- <laughs> people don't boo you. When is he going to make the face turn? We've been waiting for your face turn. Uh, is the, it's, so it's kind of opposite. <laughs> My face turn is going to be when Lucha comes back. There you go. There you go. Also, you saw him for a moment there. Larry is with us. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you you learn things. I did. We, we we have a possible uh, uh, replacement for Mad Mike coming into the studio, perhaps. Wait, what were we talking about? I don't the, remember what that discussion the la- was. The, la- uh, the lady's neighbor. Oh yeah, <laughs> you might have. We what? might have an elder lady that apparently you do not interrupt her on wrestling night, whichever night we're trying to determine what she, we, she said. Like, I, she I start- automatically approve of this woman. She's in her eighties. <laughs> She's in her eighties. Supposedly. supposedly the yes. night was Thursday. Yep. So she might be an impact fan. We don't know. <laughs> or maybe, maybe she doesn't know the DVR it only goes off. I don't know. We haven't figured it out I yet. Think she, I bet she watches on Hulu. She's watching. Re- that could be, that could <laughs> be, Never mind. I, I, yeah. I don't know. She, but she, she's way. wonderful though. Yeah, it, just by but, hearing about it. If, hearing she, about it. if she's watching Raw on Hulu, she's already doing better than us because <laughs> that's, that's at least an hour and a half less. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, she doesn't have much time left, so she needs to get only the high points. She just wants us to streamline. I don't blame her. Yeah, who doesn't? I don't blame her at all. Anyway, speaking of streamlined, uh, Raw was a Raw tonight. Man, I, okay, it, it, and I will just get it out of the po- my positivity out of the way so we can let uh, uh, so Mad Mike doesn't bulldoze it over. And again, a lot of activity here, so passively watching most of the time. Um, fantastic uh, Intercontinental title match, and the crowd really making uh, a lot of what's going on, especially in the latter half of the show. Uh, uh, from what I saw, I felt like a lot of good, fun matches. Mike, your hot take. Or wait, do we want Larry to get in before that? Oh, I, I had positive things to say about the show, too. Damn uh-huh. it. Uh, I don't know. I, I checked in the internet, the, on the uh, the Twitters every once in a while during the show, and it Sorg, seems like... I only tweet the angry stuff because the angry stuff is funny. <laughs> this is true. Why, w- why would I tweet, oh, this is a really nice Intercontinental title match? That's not going to get any response. What the fuck, Sorg? Come on. Sometimes you just want to have props. You want to just be... Uh, in- you know, I got to stay on brand. It's not Mellow Mike 4883. It's Mad Mike. Larry, what, what stuck out for you tonight? Oh, Elias stole the show. Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> in the middle two, of a match. We got, two, we got two performances in one night. He had an encore in the middle of a match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my highlight. Tina saying it was a mess show. Uh, what's up, Tina, Brandon, and Dave, and Matt out there as well? Uh, we we're just talking about the uh, the uh, the lucha. Uh, if you want to check out the frame by frame lucha oh study by Matt Carlins, I haven't gone through this yet. I haven't had time to get on on through it. Uh, ben, Mike, I imagine you. So seen we have so many questions. So many questions that will so answer very questions, soon. So many questions, very little answers. I also have a theory that this is a, that the lucha trailer is a backdoor pilot to Boon Two. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. It's a running theory. I'm, I'm, when, we, when, we, when we sit down, when you recover from your trip, and we all sit down, and we talk about this trailer for an hour and a half, because I guarantee it will take that long. I'm going to run down my whole Boon 2 theory. This needs to happen. Um, yeah. So, uh, Mad Mike, what, what, what are your hot takes from tonight? Um, first of all, Raw needs to stop talking out of both ends of their asses. That's not possible. <laughs> well, no, when you I have three commentators. Not, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You cannot open a show because you can't open a show by saying that Ronda Rousey is going to get a women's title shot. And then in the same show, say that Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel cannot have a shot because they've never won a match. Okay. 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 Fair. You also. To be fair. Have... Oh, to be on, fair. On, Ronda Rousey on. is undefeated, undefeated since wearing a kilt to the ring. What's her record on Raw? It's better, it's worse than Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel's combined. I will mm. guarantee you that. She's had no. No. She has not had a match. On she Raw. has not had a single match on Raw. She oh, has had uh, one match at WrestleMania, on WrestleMania. Representing the Raw brand. Nope. That th I asked what her record was on Raw. Mm. Because that's a big fat goose egg, Sorg. So if you look at her overall record, it's still undefeated, but she's only had one match. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're saying she's just as good as the B team. Yes, I'm saying the B team should get a shot at the Raw Women's Championship. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, uh -huh. sh I'll shoot right. that. I'm, I'm behind hashtag, that. Yeah. I'm behind hashtag that. Equality, hashtag feminism. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, but Always oh, thinking shit. about the ladies on this show. At the, at the same time, you cannot have Michael Cole chastise Kevin Owens and say, how many chances will this man get when at the same time you say, oh, Roman deserves another shot. True. But you Roman did not get another shot. No. No, he didn't. So that was one well, justice that was uh, had. No. Today. I mean, I understand what they're doing, but but they're insulting their audience. No, it, it, sh it should have been Sami Zayn to win. He should have been in that match. And he should be in the Money in the Bank match and get Vertigo climbing up the ladder and well, fall off. Well, no, Elias oh, should by be in the, the Money in the Bank match. Okay. Well, well, yeah, well, well, I, I want to roll this I, back. Uh, wait, wait, I want to roll this back a little bit because you you, you mentioned one thing, and there's I want to I want to I want to go into the two um, uh, moments of the night for me that we didn't talk about yet. Little okay. things. This is the little things, Mike, that I enjoy so much about uh, wrestling. Uh, first of all, uh, Grandpa Sammy is my favorite Sammy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. That was a lot of fun. We can um, all agree on that. And yep, he looked like a little leprechaun. Although that segment next week scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I hope. I, that, what, I, mm. it, it can be a train wreck, and, and I think Sammy is going to be the glue to hold it together. Right? I really hope so. I Let's, really Because this Alexa's is, very good on the mic, what too. What are we going to do with this? this is your life By the way, side moment, passing glance with Alexa and Sammy? Um, No. Interesting. No, no, no. no. no I, I think no. He, I think no. he got cut off. Or weird programming po uh, point. I think they were. Let's, I think let's they were just go back to Team Little Big on that. They, oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um. Also, also early running for a uh, uh, moment of the night was when uh, Ginger sees <laughs> sees Roman, carefully takes off his turban, hands it to the Singh brother. I, I can't remember which one's still around. Um, Sunil. Sunil. Sunil, Sunil yeah. thank you. Hands it to him as if, please hold this for me, and then uses him as a weapon holding the thing, and throws and, and chucks and, him at right. Roman. And hold on. Matt, Matt, Matt is saying in the chat room, "Didn't Nia challenge Ronda?" Um, yes, Nia did, but at the same time, Kurt Angle needs to be like, "No, Ronda's right. There are other women more deserving of a title shot." <laughs> but there is a champion's discretion. Is there? <sighs> There, is there, there is there is, is there really if a champion challenges a challenger 
That's how they get around. So when I guess I mean think about the storylines. When there's like a why is this guy never never shot? Like Nakamura pissed off AJ that AJ is saying, Well, I still yeah, have but, an issue with but this guy. AJ is saying blah, blah, blah. on Twitter that he doesn't think Nakamura deserves another shot. Okay. <laughs> so again, talking out of both sides of their asses. That's never been done in the history of wrestling. Oh, it absolutely has. That's not. No. John Cena said he wanted to fight Daniel Bryan and the authority wouldn't let him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because he's fragile. This was back in no, no, this is this is back in no, storyline. This was years ago yeah, when okay. he wasn't fra- was wasn't as fragile. Gotcha. Yeah, but then there was a, but then there was an authority issue, and Kurt Angle's like, "That's a great idea. Go ahead." You know, yeah. I mean, and, I mean, that's I think that I I think it fits into where we're putting the stories uh, in general. It just yeah. it just le- lets cre- unfortunately it does lend credence to your uh, Miss Mrs. Brock Lesnar. Uh, she has the same issue. exact contract as Brock Lesnar. And now both, and because if like I know Chad posted on Twitter, it's a star of a storyline. Let's see where it goes. Mm. Okay, there's three ways this can go. Nia beats Ronda. Yeah, which is the preferred way. For me personally, they ain't gonna happen. There's some kind of dusty finish where we don't get a winner. Or Ronda just wins, and then we get another champion on Raw. Who Italia. doesn't wrestle on Raw? I, I th- Italia, I th- Italia interferes and we get lines then yeah, match at Extreme Rules. Yeah, I mean, you roles. could have a Natty heel turn and Nio and Ronda wins by DQ. I mm-hmm. think Stephanie's going to find a goon to cheat her out of the title and then they're going to have That's an Extreme too, Rules match. Which could Pittsburgh. be Natty. Natty could be the deep uh, undercover, double undercover agent uh, uh, buddy, uh, buddying up the Ron- Ronda to, to screw her over. And I am looking forward to seeing Ronda Rousey in a cage match in WWE in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting it out there. I, I, I am Good looking forward to that, that prediction. I am looking forward to that. I think it'll happen. It's going to happen. Just like every time in Pittsburgh, it's, our Kurt Angle was going to come back. It's Extreme Rules, and Ronda Rousey's slated to be there already. It's already it advertised. It writes itself. It's already advertised. Is she slated? Yeah. she's on, If you look on the events on WWE Network, Okay. Uh, go to Extreme Rules. Let me see if I can pull. Man, it up. if she has back-to-back pay-per-view appearances that are not big fours, already better than Brock Lesnar. <laughs> see, Mike. See, Mike. We're already a plus pa- one. Pay-per-views. Yeah, Extreme Rules included superstars: AJ Styles, Braun Strowman, uh, Charlotte, Daniel Bryan, Jinder Mahal, The Miz, Roman Reigns, Ronda Rousey. Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. Tina, yeah, Tina's, she, Tina's yeah. mentioning and found it interesting that Charlotte was uh, in, instigating Ronda. <laughs> it was fun. Also interesting that this happened at the NBC upfronts as well. Yeah, yeah, that was stupid. That was, I don't think it was stupid. Don't challenge, no, don't challenge somebody to a match and then be buddy buddy with them. Exactly. Like it's like if you're a challenge him for no a match, need. don't go get lunch with Friendly them afterwards. Friendly competition. No. It is, is no. A future you're gonna challenge the most. We've had enough friendly competition on these papers. You're gonna challenge friendly the most dangerous woman in the world. A story. I, She's gonna beat the shit out of you. Don't go get lunch with her beforehand. Friendly arm breaking competition. No. 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 That's no, not a thing. Sorg, I, if I kicked you in the dick, would we go get pizzas afterwards? That's not sportsmanship. Well, if you only if it's sliced on Broadway's and you pretend okay, his dick Sork, is the door. Sorg, hold on. <laughs> if I punched you in the face and said I'm taking over the podcast, would we get pizza afterwards? That's not, yeah. No, we wouldn't. We would probably have pizza beforehand. <laughs> Usually pizza's before podcast. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, it depends. Did you have the last slice? I mean, there's a little bit of, like, there's an unconfirmed <laughs> uh, circumstances around this. I, I don't know. I'm, it just doesn't. That's right. Tina's with me. I this just can't be... wait until Man. Lucha. Total when the Divas. Story lo- when the writing is good. Total Divas I... with Ronda Rousey is going to be amazing, you guys. Sorg, she ain't going to be on Total Divas. With you, Divas. Tina. I would, like, I would like to say that New Japan has been great so far this week. Yeah, somebody's been uh, binge watching it apparently. On, on I watched the semifinals and the finals of the New Japan Cup today, and it made up for the uh, three hours mm-hmm. of wrestling I partially watched I, tonight. I, I just can't wait <laughs> until Lucha. I just, I just want. Well, Lucha Al- back. Alex reminds you in the chat, Mike. We have one more month. I until know. Lucha. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be a long fucking month. It's gonna be how, a how long many times month. have you rewatched all those seasons? 
Do we just kind of like put it on all the I'm time? I'm probably going to you... start that real soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, season three needs to get its ass on Netflix. Gonna, we, we need to re-listen to uh, our, our De Joseph interviews and, and see if there's any tidbits. No, you need to get him back on and ask him questions. Oh, we will. We just I mean, I, be- I believe we're probably going to be slated to have him back on around the first episode. Is that correct, Mike? Is that um, in the plans? I haven't confirmed anything with him yet. Okay. Um, because I don't know what my status is going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call okay. off sick. Uh, he, uh, let, let's gonna, not start yeah, that no, already. No, it's not that because he's he's got a new job that's going to be very good for my, Mad Mike and yeah, Mad Mike yeah, Enterprises is going to be expanding. Yeah, it may, it may have to be on a weekend. Yeah. It have to be on that's a weekend. Okay. That's okay. We can make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, make yeah. That'd be great for the first episode of our new Lucha Underground podcast. <laughs> Uh, Mike, have I shared uh, the name I, I wanted to use with you? No, no. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. Okay, all right. Yes. I like it. I yes. can't wait. And 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 and, and I figured out a way for you to keep your thing, so that Joseph's still happy. Ooh, okay, okay. okay. We'll talk I, about are, that off air. Yes. That's a teaser for you guys on the Raw That's wrap up. That has nothing to do with Monday Night Raw. All right, at that point, I, we've been talking. Not, not, let's be honest. Not a lot happened on Monday Night Raw. Nothing important happened. Braun Strowman's gimmick. Every okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We had a very big development. We we alluded to it before. Oh, the B team. Okay. They have no, merch. Yeah, no, that's great. They have T-shirts already. Yeah, if they made Yep shirts, there will be. Looks like it's spray painted on B you team my, shirts. You know what my favorite thing about the B team segments was when they're watching um the the match with Hardy and Wyatt. You can tell that those clipboards, they very clumsily wrote B's on their clipboards with their hands mm-hmm. because there were fingerprints on there. I, mm-hmm. I appreciate that kind of dedication. That's it. That's I it. appreciate that. I assume that's why Bo Dallas was wearing his glove because he was finger painting. Didn't want to show. Didn't want to show it off. Yeah. No, I'm excited for that, and they're doing something with them, and they're taking on the champions next week. Which can they, the the you know the tweets? Did of, they confirm that? I believe it was. I don't. Th- I don't remember it ever being confirmed. confirmed. I think I. I remember when they were talking with Angle that he said, "I will give you this match tonight." Only if you promise to leave me alone for the rest of the night. <laughs> he yeah. does that a lot. I think that's all he said. I don't it doesn't think work with Kevin. Owens, I don't think apparently. he gave him a title match if they won. That was never discussed. Oh, oh apparently, uh, being the lead into their, your own table for three does not mean that you're going to win the match with Elias yeah, getting the pin. Elias says Tina. The... Yeah. And can I ask a question? Hmm. Um. Can we redo the Bobby Roode, No Way Jose, Baron Corbin match and make it so no one wins? I totally forgot about that. It was that memorable. Exactly. Because none of those guys matter on Who Raw won? right now. None of them matter. Who won? Exactly. No, I really don't know who won. <laughs> it's Bobby Roode. Oh. Oh, good. Good for him. But, oh, good. but if I told you it was No Way Jose, you would have said, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. No, I... I it, eh. <laughs> He, he's the right one. Like, he's the right one. Like, why that. couldn't yeah. we have just switched Bobby Roode and Elias and have Elias win? Because Elias has been putting in the work on Raw. Mm-hmm. And at this rate, yeah, he ain't going to have a match on the pay Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, that's, that's, that's overload. Um, all right, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? <laughs> um, hour 10. Wow. Hour 10. Wow. Are we going off of how much was tolerable or how much I actually paid attention to? Uh, I, 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 we, again, we were like, I mean, dude, Larry was like booking his uh, Group Quick International Industries uh, gig for tomorrow. I was plotting. I was plotting big things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, the, web, so the website's almost done. Some, some seismic activity at the Sorgatron oh, Media Studios? No. The iCloud's in your face, dude. Yeah, there were some size. Actually, there's been kind of some seismic activities for real. So, um, That has nothing to do with, with what's going on. In the I mean, though. he did something down there that like shook the room. You know, when I wasn't even here when that happened. No, no, no. No, I mean, no tonight, there was the, you, you did something down there that did like, shake the office a little bit. Like, Downstairs? Yeah, you like closed the door or something. You closed the door? I don't know. It, it's... Okay. Eh, whatever. We're going yeah, off topic. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how sound. Twenty minutes. Is. That's how much of Raw was washable. <laughs> oh wow! Ooh, Twenty wow. minutes. Whoa! 
so basically the length of the IC title match. No, yeah, I didn't even good. watch all that of was, that. Dude, that was good. I was like, we were having conversations about like community development, and I'm just like, I'm like listening to them. I was like, I'm watching this match I, while I'm listening and interacting. But I'm like, I got to see what's happening with Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and with the B team and stuff like that. Like it was drawing my attention out of some important some conversations. But um, um, I'm going to go, I mean, I'll go flat two hours. But I'm a passive watcher, so. That, that I don't I don't even believe you paid attention to two hours of that show. I yeah, think you I need really, to do better. I, I find that hard to believe. I don't think that's true. Would you believe I find that... an hour forty five? I'd believe an hour and a half. Mm. Who won the women's tag match? I was gonna say, Sorg, real quick, who won the women's tag match? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about to say that. Because I don't remember. I think the good guys won. Did they? Yes. Okay. They did. See, I don't. They I don't, did, don't remember. But, but I mean, just uh, Liv took Liv. Liv uh, tapped out via the sharpshooter. Yeah. Yeah. Did right. Balor have yeah. a match? Yeah, he who? was with Braun against. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, who won that match? Uh, Drew and Drew, Drew and Dolph. Dolph, that was a pretty big deal. Who 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 got pinned? Uh, who do you think, I think it, was, it wasn't it was Braun? Finn. It was Finn. Okay. Oh yeah, we ever, we forgot to mention that trophy's done. <laughs> Why did they break it? They broke it by accident. Oh no! They broke it by accident. Oh, I missed that. Uh, Braun knocked over McIntyre, and McIntyre flipped and kicked the kicked the trophy over. And you just saw that thing snap. Yeah, they'll fix it with some super glue. It's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't want. I almost don't want anyone from Raw to win that money what, in the bank match. What did I? Yeah. What did I uh, uh, miss that uh, apparently I am the president of the Finn Balor Abs fan club? Yep. Yeah, there's a whole thing on Twitter. Oh, we did. There was one thing that gives me hope for professional wrestling, Sorg. Hmm. Do you know one? Th- do you know the one thing? Rizongo is going to be live tweeting the Royal Wedding. <gasps> <laughs> there, there is hope. Well, you know, you know. That's, that's the one scenario that Doctor Strange predicted we win. Sa- Sammy looks a lot <laughs> like, uh, what's his face? A leprechaun. No, no. Oh, my God. Uh, what, Prince Harry or whatever? A leprechaun. Yeah, if if we just have Sammy and Kevin reenact the royal wedding next Monday, I'd be entirely on board I with think this. Keep an eye on social media for some uh, videos. I, think, I feel like they're going to have fun with that. I think Elias should crash it. I think Elias should crash everything. Like in the middle oh, of the yeah. wedding. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> Messy. I can't I- wish, wish the Predators made the Stanley Cup final so he could just be like, Brr. Missy. Yeah, I'm oh, supposed to ask you about the Finn Balor Habs fan club that I'm a president of. Did you sign me up for this? Just thinking, thinking. You- it, it was. It- what? According? No, I'm not. It's according to Dave Potter. I thought, I in the thought chat. Jen was the president, he but then you were Missy. a member. Oh. No, because I think Jen Carlin is the founding member. Yeah, I think Jen is the founding member, recruiter, and treasurer. Mm hmm. Um, Bobby, Bobby of Town did say he was the founder of the Bone Soldier Abs fan club, though. <laughs> what? Yeah, Sorg, Twitter got weird. Twitter got all kinds of weird. Twi- wow. Twitter got real weird. Hot takes and fan clubs and abs and mm-hmm. bone, bone saw. Boy, I'm missing out. <laughs> bone saw. Bone saw is ready. Oh, boy. I oh, wish I had boy. Twitter. <laughs> you, you Larry, you do have a Twitter. No, I don't have it. Guys, tomorrow, is bliss. tomorrow's a Wrestling Mayhem show. It is episode 619. Booyaka, booyaka. Yep. And uh, we will be celebrating with our good friend, uh, Toddy, from The Thrifty Podcast. Please go check that out on the Sogatron Media Network to prepare yourself. I understand he's going to be bringing some interesting things of a wrestling nature uh, to help, I guess, decorate the set. Also, Skeletor will be in studio tomorrow. Also. What? Skeletor? You're not bringing your cat here. Oh, yeah. Is, that, is this happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yep. I you better get the pee pads ready, Sorg. No, no, I got it. Oh, shit, I got to pick up pee pads. Um, no, you don't need pee pads. Well, I need them for my dog. Oh. I, I just put the last I'll one bring some pee there. pads. Yeah. Bring, actually, I could use some pee pads. I'll bring can you I, some pee pads. Can I, can I, can yeah, I we borrow have some? some we have a bunch in Sam's. I'll give Sam's them back. Stuff. No, you can keep them. 
Just a couple. I already took your recycling. I'm not taking your pee pads. You offered to take my recycling. Yes, damage. that's right. That's, where I, right <laughs> that's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, go check that out, please. And then we're here. Um, if you want the to make sure you don't miss uh, the raw wrap up, if you're catching us live and maybe you can't make it every Monday, please sign up for the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed wherever you love to listen to your podcasts, or of course subscribe so you get the live notification here on Monday nights for this and the Wrestling Mayhem Show main show on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Uh, on the Facebook here uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, also, the video version goes up over there. And follow the Sorgatron Media Twitch channel and the IndieWrestling.us Twitch channel. Because Wrestling Mayhem Show is represented on both of those. The Indie Mayhem Show interviews on the IndieWrestling.us Twitch. And uh, we replay this and other shows on uh, the Twitch channel for Sorgatron Media. I love somebody actually tweeted me about... Uh, and we, we bored Mike, sorry. Uh, <laughs> somebody, He's not bored with somebody you. Tweeted He's re-watching me, Raw. Somebody tweeted me about like one of the <laughs> interviews that we had with Dave Lagana uh, and everything from the Twitch, and I see a lot of people signing up for it. So th- thank you, everybody, that's been supporting on there. And you can drop in and just get a, get a dose of mayhem or whatever else may be going on. You okay over there, Larry? Matt Garland says, get these abs. <laughs> 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 on that note larry is mutilator larry hashtag girthquake international on the twitter worldwide uh, worldwide worldwide of course and of course mad mike is mad mike 4883 on the twitter uh since hockey season is essentially over i'll be, most likely be talking about deadpool this weekend yay huzzah for the deadpool and huzzah for lucha underground if you're a mayhemmer that lives, happens to live in pittsburgh kansas with no h or joplin missouri i'll be um there representing for well not representing myself i guess uh, uh for an event uh for a client uh, so, um, if you're around, um, I'm around, let's like high five or something. Uh, so, uh, hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitter and check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We see, we will see you guys next time. Thank you everybody joining us in the chat room. Uh, keep it raw. Yeah. Yeah, that's right.